Hello guys, welcome back to Get Your Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading the screen and even black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now go to the power icon over here and go for the restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This is a very basic step which can be done. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to exit from both the Steam or Battle.net. If you're using the Battle.net and if the game is available in the Battle.net, as well as in the Steam, we have to exit it and you have to open it once again. So just go over here in the Steam, go for exit. After the exit is done, we just need to wait and try launch the Steam once again and you have to try launch the game from the Steam itself. If you're on the battle.net, you can exit from the battle.net and try opening the app once again and try launch the game. This can be done. Next one is all about we have to launch the game not from the uh, Steam but from the installation folder. So launching the game from the Steam might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. We have to navigate to the installed files and just click on the browse. So that what happens is that it will take you to the installation folder. If you check at the top, that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam amps, common, Call of Duty HQ. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see that is Call of Duty, the .exe application is here. Just launch the game from here instead of launching it from the Steam. This worked for many users, so you can try this out. If this is not working, you don't have to get panic. You can try the one more step. That is all about we have to launch the game from here. I mean, we have to, you have to run it the game as an administrator. For this, we just need to right click. We have to go to show more options. We have to go to the properties, compatibility. And what we need to do is we just need to click on run this program as an administrator. We have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. And we just need to try launch the game for many users. When they run the game as an administrator, it worked for them. So you need to try this out as well. Next one, we need to try run the game in the compatibility mode. So just right click over here, go to show more options, go to the properties, compatibility mode. Now from here, click on run the game in the compatibility mode. First, you have to set this to Windows 8, go for apply. And if that is not working, set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK. Most cases, Windows 7 will be working. So you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So just hit on the play button and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This worked for many users in my knowledge. For personally, it worked for me. Even that is why I'm recommending you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to settings over here. Go over here in the time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure all these things, three things are turned on. That is time zone automatically should be turned on. Time automatically should be turned on as well as show the date and time system tray should be turned on. Just go back, go to the language and region. Here it is very important that you have to set the geography according to your country. So you might be in uh, United States. Uh, so you have to set it in United States. If you're from United Kingdom, you have to set this to United Kingdom. If you're from India, you have to set this to India. Once you set the region, just close everything and we have to go back to the Steam, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, don't get panicked. We have more steps which can be done. And one among them is all about, we have to delete the saved game file. So this is very important. This worked for many users and we found this from the community forum. So just go over here in the file explorer, navigate to this PC. Now we have to go to documents. And over here, you have to check whether you are able to find the folder of COD Modern Warfare like Diablo, Assassin Creed, you will be able to find the folder. If the folder is not there, just go into the folder My Games and over here somewhere else you will be able to find the folder. So what you need to do is you just need to keep in mind when you delete the folder, you will be losing all the progressions of the game. But that is fine, just delete it. Once you delete it, you just need to close this and we have to go back, try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to control panel. Just search for control panel. 
Now from here navigate to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow and app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here as you can see we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Call of Duty and make sure this is already added. Make sure both the private and public both has to be selected which is very important. So we have to select both private and public. So if imagine the game is not here, if that is the case, what we need to do. So I'll be showing you that as well. Just click on the change settings. We have to go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program for x86, keep scrolling down, navigate to Steam and we have to navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to, uh, we just need to go over here and navigate to COD. So Call of Duty HQ. Now from here, we just need to launch the game. So keep in mind, you can also add it. So here I am adding it because it's already added. So that is why I'm not able to add it. So this is how we can add the game. Once the game is added, we have to make sure both the private and public both has to be marked, which is very important. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices which is already connected. For, for example, you might be connected with multiple monitors, you might be connected with multiple controllers, even you might be connected with multiple, you know, uh, joystick and even wheels might be connected. So that might be not for this game, but even for any other game, but even that might cause the issue up. So it is quite important for you have to cross check from your side and you have to unplug all these things. And once afterwards, try and once the game is up and running, you can connect it back and try with your controllers and all those things. Next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to, uh, you know, we need to navigate to uh, system configuration and go to the services and go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. And we have to keep in mind when you do this, you will be losing all the, uh, you have to keep in mind that you have to go for restart. But here we're in the middle of shooting, so I'm gonna skip this and we can try after the restart, try launch the game. This is very important, so you can try this out as well. The next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So whenever we launch the game, for example, like Call of Duty, which is Modern Warfare 3, which is around 116 GB, which is a very important step we have to keep in mind is closing the overlay application. Just go over here in the start, right click, and we have to go to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are uh, around 52 apps running in the background. So here in the PC, which I'm using right now is having a good uh, spec and configuration. The RAM is around 32 GB and I'm having the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080, which is fine for me and which is absolutely great. So even if I, these kind of background apps are running in the background, at the same time, if I launch the game, I'll not be having the crashing issue. I never had the crashing issue as well. So this is what you have to do, but this will not be the uh, case, will not be the same for the users who are having the RAM around 2 GB or 4 GB and even for 8 and 16 as well. So it is quite important that you have to remove the unwanted things from here in the background process. All I have to say is we have to remove Discord, we have to remove Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner and all those things can be removed because it comes to the category of overlay and overclocking application. So just remove all these things and once after you remove, remove this, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to, uh, which is very important, we have to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure if the enable the Steam overlay while in game is turned on, we have to turn this off, try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to go over here in the launch option. We have to give the commands in the launch option and the most working command is the first one is DX11. So try with DX11. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine. You can try both, either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with DX12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search, search for graphics settings. Now from here, you can see this is how it looks like. Just go to the browse. Now from here, navigate to this PC and we have to go to local disk C, go to program for x86. Go for Steam and we have to navigate to Steam apps, go to common. And from here, we have to navigate to Call of Duty HQ and we have to add the .exe over here. So as you can see, it is already added. So just click on this one and go to the option. By default, this would be let Windows decide. So you have to change this from let Windows decide to high performance and go for save. Once you save this, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to make sure we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search. We have to go over here in the view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced tab. Go to the settings once again. Go to the advanced once again and go for change. Make sure this is uh, blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and go for size. So the custom size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here. We need to go for a calculator. So let me get a calculator. So just type your RAM. So 32 GB is my RAM. I have to multiply it with a constant value that is 1024 and I have to multiply it with 1.5. That brings me 14 and 152 and we just need to copy this and paste. Next one we have to give the size for the maximum size that is 3 times the total RAM. That is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Once the value is being set just close everything and we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, update the windows which is very important so just go over here in the search and navigate to settings and we have to go over here in the windows update and just update the windows which is very important so you have to make sure the windows is up to date and even if you're still having the trouble that is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this that to the official page of nvidia as well as to the amd the nvidia users has to go over here in this page and here you have to select the product type according to your uh, configuration and you can go for product series can be selected according to your configuration as well now you can select the product and you have to go for windows 11 if you're on windows 11 and everything should be done and go for start search and from here right now as you can see the version is drive version is 546.01 and we have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and if you're on the amd just go over here and select every details over here and go for submit now if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game you can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus which is very important we can also try downloading the, uh, if the system is based on x64, we can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launch the game as well. We can also try, uh, you know, we need to uh, link back the uh, battle.net as well as the Steam, which worked for many users, so that is why I'm showing you guys as well. So you need to sign into your uh, activization account and once you sign into the activation account you have to you'll be getting an option to click on this uh, this particular one that is clicking on the steam so that you will be uh, connected to the steam so you can do this and once you link both the accounts that, that even work it for many users you can try this one as well next one we can also try uh, uninstall and reinstall the game i don't know how this is much convenient for you guys but even though for many users uh, I found this from the reddit where many people share it when they uninstall the game and reinstalling it back which is a quite uh, time consuming process because it's gonna take a little bit of around two hours if you wanted to install it back onto any other drive but even it worked for many users so just go over here right click go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back should not be installing it back not to the same local disk from which you uninstall you have to try a new local disk and that will be working next one is all about we can try verify integrity of game file which is absolutely one of the great steps you have to try out because all these kind of crashing issue not launching won't launch freezing structuring lagging low fps drop even the stuck on loading screen even the black screen and all these issues can happen because you know what happens is one of the main reason is because i have to say you know if the files are corrupted they're going to definitely have an issue and even if the files are not corrupted even if what if i have to say is imagine the files are completely you know uh, having some kind of bugs and all those things cause the issue up so we just need to remove it as well so just go over here right click and we have to go to the properties Go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file which is going to take a lot of time because uh, not much time but even though it's going to take around uh, 20 to 20 minutes because it's going to cross check every single file so 153.21 gb of the uh, file it's going to cross check it and that's going to take the time as well so once you're done with this particular step i'm going to show you what you have to do afterwards
so as you can see the 59s files are validated and they uh, fail to validate which means you know they are corrupted that is why we are having the issues this kind of issue so what happens is in the background these uh, there is an update going on right so this updates will be fixing these 59 files and once afterwards it will be good so many users having this issue because if the files are corrupted you'll be having all these kind of trouble so what we need to do is we just need to make sure they are not uh, you know uh, corrupted at the same time an update will be going on in the process so you'll be getting the play button right now so just launch the game and that will be working after the update so this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the like and for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye